Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you. Today we're talking yet again, social audio. More importantly, where it falls on the brand storytelling spectrum. Now, back in 2013, I wrote a book called Your Brand, The Next Media Company. And it was a blueprint for organizations to think agile and create content, relevant content, to reach the right customer at the right time and in the right channel. And I wrote it because there were several factors that I personally, as a marketer, was struggling with. And the first factor is that there is a content and media surplus, right? There's no shortage of content and media and likes and comments and shares and text messages and ads all vying for our attention, right? It's out there. Now, we as individuals, as consumers, have an attention deficit, right? Our attention spans are very low, yet there's a lot of content trying to get our attention. And our defense mechanism is tunnel vision, right? We only want to consume um, the content that's relevant to us at a very specific moment in time. And so, you know, if you couple that with the content surplus, attention deficit, you know, the fact that we have tunnel vision and our buyer's journey is very dynamic and unpredictable, right? We go through life every day in not knowing what platform we're going to go to, what our search is going to be, where are we going to get information from? And so as a marketer, if you consider all those factors, it's important for brands to think like a media company, you know, build the right process so that you, when you spot the opportunity where to engage, you can create content on the fly um, and do so in a very relevant way, very much like a newsroom does today. And the book focuses on people, process, and technology. So who are the right people? Who is your team? Do you have the right agency partners or, you know, creatives, you know, analysts, etc.? And then process. So what is the editorial and creative workflow so that when you do spot an opportunity, you can create that content quickly. I call that the content supply chain. And then lastly, it's the, the technology, right? What technology do you have access to to then publish that content, promote it um, in a very efficient way. Now, how is all that relevant to social audio and Clubhouse? Well, part of the book, I write about the idea of surround sounding your audiences with relevant and specific messaging, right? So there's several data points out there that say that, you know, in order for a consumer or buyer to start to believe your message or buy a product, they need to interact with that message three to five times. So whether it's a, a search result in Google, or a, you know, something in their feed on a social network um, or a video or an audio. You know, those are all factors that are super important when we think about surround sounding audiences with consistent messaging so that you can begin to change behavior. Now, I wrote about this idea called the cone of learning. Now, the cone of learning was also referred to as the cone of experience. And it was created by Edgar Dale. He was working in education at the time, um, early 1900s. And he made several contributions to audio and visual instruction, uh, including a methodology for analyzing the content of motion pictures. And so you might have heard references to the cone of learning in the past. You might have heard, you know, comments like, you know, after two weeks, we tend to remember 10% of what we read. Now, in the book, I talk about the need to diversify your content right? Because you have to create content in the medium or the media that your audiences prefer to receive that content. And this model is a very good way to start to think about, you know, and, and, and audit whether or not you are. So if you look and you go down the spectrum, we remember 10% of what we read, 20% of what we hear, hello, podcasting and social audio, 30% of what we see, 50% of what we hear, etc. And so this is a, this is also a great way to build customer advocacy, right? You begin to create content and pull people closer to your brand. So not only are they subscribing to your feeds or following you on social media, but now they're attending every one of your rooms on Clubhouse. They are, you know, subscribing to your podcasting, their YouTube subscribers, and then you want them to actually participate. You know, how can you par have customers participate in your storytelling. Those are the ones that are going to tell everybody else about their experience. And so social audio plays a very significant role here, right? This is, again, it's one medium that is part of a larger integrated marketing ecosystem that needs, that needs to be addressed. And so podcasting is certainly, you know, and there's a great huge conversation right now about, you know, whether or not social audio is going to replace podcasting. I don't think it will be because podcasting is, is on demand, right? We listen to it when we want to. Whereas with, with social audio or clubhouse, you know, if you're not available or you miss a tweet or you miss something, you may not be able to participate in a room that you wanted to. And so again, it's, it's one of many platforms. So don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? Have a very unique and consistent message that is articulated across 
all of these pla- all of these platforms like long form content, podcasting, social audio, video, um, and also activities where you can get your customers involved. And that's all I really want to talk about today. You know, social audio, Clubhouse, it's trending. It's all over the place. The media, influencers, even large brands are trying to figure out how do we capitalize on this new phenomenon um, and how do we build a presence and how do we grow advocacy and influence in these platforms. And I just want to remind you, right, there's so many other ways to reach audiences. Right now, it's an early adopter audience. Um, It's certainly expanding. We have a lot of different genres and topics of rooms, a lot of different individuals from different backgrounds, VCs, technologists, fashion, beauty, sports, you name it. And so don't put all your eggs in one basket. Focus on the story and then figure out how to distribute that story across um, all these channels. So thanks for tuning in. Really do appreciate you. Uh, would love to continue this conversation or dialogue. Maybe we have a room about it on Clubhouse or, you know, send me a, a message on, on Twitter or LinkedIn. Um, do you agree with this or not, right? Is this, it, how long will social audio play out? Is it going to be another fad or is it going to be a real opportunity uh, for not just building community amongst individuals, but is it an opportunity for brands to uh, tell stories? So thanks again. And until I see you next time, have a great day.